Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to show you how to make a banana bundt cake covered in brown sugar glaze. If you guys like bananas and bundt cake, I think this recipe is perfect for you. It has a secret ingredient, which is not so secret at all. It's just sour cream. I know it sounds funny, but I promise you it's good. So make sure you're subscribed, keep watching, and let me show you how to make this. Start off by preheating your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Make sure you grease your bundt pan and dust it with some flour, then set it aside. In a large bowl, whisk together your flour, your salt, your baking soda, and your baking powder. I'm just using a half moon whisk. Then you want to set that aside, and then to another large bowl, add in your butter and your sugar. I kind of threw mine in. And then go ahead and mix it using an electric mixer. Add in your eggs and your vanilla and then beat this until everything is nicely combined. Once all of your ingredients are combined and looking smooth, kind of like this, you want to start mashing up your bananas. Now make sure your bananas are super ripened. Mine were not, they were slightly not ripened. So I kind of struggled with this. And if you use super ripened bananas, the flavor is definitely more prominent. Also, if you have trouble with this, just use a blender to puree them. I went ahead and added my mushed bananas to my wet ingredients and gave it a quick mix. Once everything was combined, I added about half of my dry ingredients to my wet ingredients, gave it a good stir using a half moon whisk, use what you have, get everything off the sides. And then it's time for the secret ingredient. Like I said, it's sour cream. The sour cream is going to add moisture without thinning our batter. It's going to control the browning of the cake to some extent although my cake did brown slightly. And then it's also going to activate the baking soda, which is super important, so it rises. And then go ahead and add in the rest of your dry ingredients and give it a quick mix so everything is combined. Use a rubber spatula to get the sides and the bottom so there's no dry bits. Add this lovely batter to your greased pan and spread it as evenly as you can. You can also rotate the bundt pan just to make sure everything is, you know, as evenly as you can. I even used my rubber spatula, ran it along the top, and then you do want to tap it just to remove any of the air bubbles, you know, kind of like I did here, and then give it a quick twirl. Bake it for around 45 minutes or until a toothpick inserted in the center comes out mostly clean. Take your beautiful bundt cake out of the oven and let it cool 10 minutes in the pan, then invert it on a cooling rack so it cools completely. Once the cake is cooled completely, you can start on your glaze. So add in your butter, your brown sugar, and your milk to a saucepan on medium heat. Bring this to a simmer. Make sure you're stirring constantly. You do not want anything to burn because that is not the flavor that we are going for. Once everything is smooth and cohesive, kind of like I did here, you might have a little bit of butter being stubborn, but don't worry, that will melt. Take it off the heat, let it cool for five to 10 minutes, add in your vanilla whisk to combine, slowly add in your powdered sugar a little at a time, stirring as you go. If you find that your glaze is getting too thick, make sure you thin it out with just a splash of milk. I did and it worked wonderfully. Once you've reached your desired consistency, drizzle it all over the cake. I'm using a spoon, but you can use a fork or whatever works for you. Once you've drizzled your cake, sprinkle the top with some nuts. This is totally optional. I think walnuts would be perfect. However, I didn't have any walnuts on hand. I did have pecans, so I'm just using some chopped pecans to sprinkle it all over the top of the cake. I think it looks really pretty. Again, you can totally skip this step if nuts are not for you. I love that this bundt cake slices so beautifully. There is no flavor of the sour cream whatsoever if you were concerned about that. Also, if you are looking for the recipe, it is in the video description. I always get questions, where is the recipe? That's where it's at. It's always in the description if you were curious. And if you made it this far, I just wanna say thank you so much. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. I would really appreciate it. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, a wonderful night, wherever you are, and stay safe. Until next time, bye.